Okay, greetings everybody. The week is still very young. Today is the 7th of September. And of course, as it's still very young, we are waiting for price to break out above or below. That is going to be the case for today. We are going to be looking for price to break out above or break out below of these key areas here. And if it breaks out above or below, then we we'll wait for a retest for entry, a retest for entry. And that's what we're going to be looking out for across the majors and gold. The same thing with cable, either it breaks down to the upside or to the downside. And also, you need to pay attention, you need to be paying attention to the directional bias as well. You can see that for this Kiwi, it has been pushing uh, higher and higher for a little while now. So, it breaks out to the upside, we test here, and then a push higher, of course, would be ideal. But then also traders are looking at this as a form of uh, as a type of divergence. So maybe just maybe we might have it break to the downside of this area here or resistance supports. Maybe break to the downside and now act as resistance and then follow through to these areas of untested supports. These are areas of resistance but yet to be tested as support over here, right? So looking at the other instrument, the same story is uh, more or less the same. But then the dollar swizzy has been really dirty, has been really on the ranging side. Same thing with the dollar yen. And uh, the dollar card, of course, you can see, seems to be a bit to the downside. And then we wait for this breakout here, we test, and then it drop. Or if it pushes higher, depending on what is also happening with the crude oil, of course, if the crude oil is doing well, then we should expect uh, uh, the dollar card to drop. And if the crude oil is taking a bashing, then of course you'd expect the dollar card to push higher. So you need to also pay attention to the crude oil for this and find out what's happening. For gold, we tested the 1830 marker on the weekly time frame. We talked about this a couple of times. And as we tested this area here, you can see it has reacted to it. And now after this bullish pin so you can see the bullish pin has already done its work if you entered on this bullish pin then your stop loss should have been adjusted by now or should have taken partial profit or whatever the case might be just to ensure that you manage the trade appropriately so on this uh hourly time frame for gold um you can see from what we have here it has been on an up movement and then we have these areas here as uh, resistance 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 and now trying to trying to act as support so it could either be a bounce or a breakout retest and then follow through if you should break out retest of this 1820 area then look forward to placing potential sell positions somewhere around here on the pullback or worst case you wait for it to be a breakout to the upside retest of this 1830 area and then push higher it's always good to trade on the safe side and let the price uh, lead the way and then you just follow. So this is just what we have for today. And then we'll go and update to see how uh, the market reacted to all of these breakout pullback areas of interest. And then if we're able to get anything, we will let you know. And of course today, the economic calendar is pretty light. So uh, ex not really expecting much volatility today. But that doesn't mean anything cannot happen. We also have breaking news in the market. So ensure you trade safely and we will see you tomorrow with an update. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.